Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be looking at an application of lookup tables which is the uh, auto level uh, filter and uh, the goal of the auto level, so if we take a look at uh, this image that I, uh, so the airplane image that I opened in GIMP the goal of the auto level is basically to find a way to fully uh, use the, um, the, the available dynamic range uh, of an image. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I look at the uh, levels, so the, the, the levels of intensity that we can find in the, um, in the image, so as in the, that we can see in the histogram, um, we can quickly uh, look at the right side here and see that we basically don't have any uh, values uh, that are present in the image and that are above around 219, 220. Okay, so there are very, very few pixels with values that are higher than that. And this means that for all the rest of the, of the image, the, the, the contrast that we have between the pixel, pixels is lower than what we could have if we were fully uh, using the entire available range. So when we are doing uh, a, 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 tr a levels adjustment of an, of an image, uh, what we are doing is we are setting the minimum uh, value that is uh, present for most pixels of the image, setting the maximum values that, uh, that is present for most pixels of the image, and we are saying this low value is mapped to zero at the, the output, the high value is mapped to 255, and between the two we make a uh, just a linear um, transformation. transformation. So if we look at it as a um, transform uh, with the, the kind of um, uh, lookup table uh, function that we've, that we've seen before, what we are doing is we are saying any value that is higher than the upper threshold here will be uh, mapped to 255. Any value that is lower than the uh, lower threshold here will be set to zero. And for the value in between the two, we want to make just a, uh, a linear interpolation between the two. Um, so if we do this transform, what we, the effect that we see on an image is that it's brightening um, the, it's, uh, the image in this case because we didn't use, we are not us using uh, the, uh, the brighter part of the histogram and it's uh, slightly improving the contrast in the uh, less bright uh, regions which were um, uh, a lot uh, yeah, the, the histogram was, was kind of squished together and now we have stretched it a bit so that uh, we can see the contrast uh, better. If we look at the uh, new histogram, we can see that uh, the effect was, uh, like I said, to, to stretch it so that now it uses the entire uh, range. Of course, this is a transform that is um, not reversible. Um, we are losing information in the process because there were some pixels that were above the threshold and they are now um, indistinguishable from uh, pixels that were around the 230 or 225 uh, range. Um, but the idea is that uh, this concerns so few pixels in the image that the, um, the result is not really, um, that we don't really see uh, any loss of information um, here. Of course, if we started choosing um, much uh, lower uh, high threshold or higher low threshold, uh, we would start to, to get an effect that is uh, much, uh, much stronger and where we actually start losing a, a lot of uh, information. Um, so let's start to, um, to, to quickly uh, look at the, the code to do this. So what I want to do is first to uh, code this um, this lookup transform um, that we've seen with the uh, with the two saturated parts and the, and the linear interpolation in between, and then I want to um, to quickly look at a way to automatically find the, these uh, these two uh, thresholds. So uh, here the um, the idea is that um, well we we want to basically split our um, lookup table into three uh, areas the area before the uh, low threshold, which will be set to uh, zero. So let's define our lower threshold and we'll say here that it's, for instance, four. And we want to say that in the lookup table, anything uh, where that is before uh, t um, minimum, so at our lower threshold, from zero to our lower threshold, we want to set the output to uh, zero. And uh, we want to set a high threshold, let's put it at 220, from the high threshold to the end it's going to be 255, let's have a look at this. 
So we have done here uh, the two, um, the two saturated parts of the uh, transform, and now we have to uh, determine what's happening between t, uh, t min and t max, so between our two thresholds. And so we will have uh, a slope. So wh what will be the new slope? Well, we can see that we um, have 255 here and uh, t max minus t min here. So that's our slope. It will be 255 divided by t max minus t min. That's our new, new slope times uh, the um, times x or x here which is uh, the value that is in the lookup table if we have the, the, the range here first. And um, if we just do that, we'll see that um, we, we still have a, a problem where the, 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 um, the, the slope is correct, but the, the, the line is not uh, correctly uh, aligned. It's offset, and it's offset by here a value of uh, t, uh, t minus, so, so our lower threshold. And so if you want to really have the, um, the line in the correct position, we have to offset it here by uh, t minus. And now we have the two lines that are connected. We can still see that there is some sort of uh, kind of artifact here in the line. This is due to the um, uh, integer approximation. So basically, if we were casting this uh, as a float here, we would get um, a perfectly uh, nice uh, slope, but here we would have a problem because if we look at uh, the lookup table values, this means that the output would be a flo floating uh, point number, and so we would uh, actually be uh, changing the type of the of the data instead of, of having um, unsigned 8-bit integer. We would have float uh, at the at the output. This is not the goal here, so. Um, we will keep everything as integers and we want a mapping from integer value to integer value. And so this is uh, why we will have this kind of uh, step uh, effect at some uh, parts of the uh, of the image. So um, let's do that. So now I can apply my lookup table uh, to the uh, to the image and I can display the results. Let's do a side-by-side -side of image and out. And I just want so a shortcut. If I don't want to put the uh, cmap equals every time, I can just do plt.gray here, and it will um, just set the, the default color map uh, for the rest of the session to um, to the grayscale uh, color map. So here I have my two images. So the result is not uh, super strong, um, but we do have something that is slightly um, slightly brighter and uh, with a slightly better contrast. Sorry, on the right side. If we want to uh, kind of um, make the effect a lot more visible, we could choose. Uh, thresholds that, that are uh, a bit uh, more uh, uh, extreme here and we would find the, that the effect is a lot stronger so the, there are a lot more really dark pixels, a lot more really bright pixels and the uh, well we are gaining the contrast in, uh, in this uh, part of the, um, of the histogram but of course we are completely removing any contrast in the parts that are uh, saturated here so this is kind of the uh, um, of the the drawback uh, that we have with, with this method is that we, we that's why we have to, to make sure that the threshold that we are choosing are uh, not um, that we d they don't have too many uh, pixels that are outside of those threshold because for those we are losing uh, all information. Um, so what would be a good way of determining those threshold? Um, well, as I said, we want to make sure that there are not too many pixels above the high threshold and under the low threshold. And we can actually um, translate that into a more mathematical term by saying that we want to keep a certain uh, percentile of the, uh, of the, of the pixels um, uh, inside or, or outside the, the, two, uh, the two thresholds. So for instance, the most extreme way that we could uh, do, it, do it would be to say that t minus is the uh, minimum value that is present in the image. 
LT max is the maximum value that is present in the image. But in this case, uh, the problem is that we do have some pixels, a uh, uh, few pixels that have a value of 255 and some pixels the value of zero. So this would not uh, change anything. Um, if we want to avoid this kind of uh, these uh, outliers, we could say instead of taking the minimum and the maximum, we can take the um, the percentile two and percentile ninety eight, for instance, and say okay, two percent of the pixels will be saturated in the lower threshold, two percent of the pixels will be saturated in the upper threshold, and um, and the, the rest will will be uh, and for the rest we will improve the contrast. So how can we? Um, do that, where we can use the uh, normalized cumulative histogram that we've already um, done before, that we've uh, um, computed before. So I will quickly uh, redo that. Um, if I want the cumulative histogram of an, an image, uh, so I have to um, say that I, so the cumulative histogram, I will initialize it to uh, zero everywhere. We'll keep a counter here, and for every value in my available range, uh, I will say that I will add to my uh, cumulative uh, counter the number of pixels that have these values, this value, and uh, I will put uh, the current uh, count to the uh, cumulative histogram. I will, in the end, normalize it. Uh, sorry, normalize it um, so so that the um, the end is one. So, it so that it goes from zero to one, so that we can interpret it as a percentage of pixels that are uh, 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 under a certain uh, value. So if I quickly check uh, what I have done. Typo. It will be better if I don't do a second typo. Uh, so this is the no. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and a third typo. Because this, this was the just the normal histogram, and this is the cumulative histogram. So I I keep uh, adding to the to the to the counter and. Um, what I have here, if, if I if I look, I can look at it in the way of saying uh, the what the cumulative histogram tells me here is that I have around 50% of the uh, pixels of the image have a value of 50 or lower. Okay, so this is the, the the way to interpret the cumulative histogram. So this means that if I want to find my percentiles now, I need to find the value here that correspond to the um, to the uh, to the uh, cumulative histogram value of 0 0.02 and 0 0.98 98 to have my uh, two percent uh, percentiles. So what uh, will that be? Well, let's uh, go through the histogram here, and I will say that uh, if cumulative histogram of v is above 0 0.02, I want to break. T minus will be v uh, minus 1. And then if I go in the other direction, if uh, of 255 minus v is under 0 0.98, break and the max is v plus one. Let's print the min and the max. Uh, oh sorry, it was h here. Okay, far too many mistakes here. Um, and this is 255 minus uh, v plus one. Okay, this is better. <laughs> um, and why don't I print it? Why doesn't it? I see, okay. So now I found, so my, with the percentile, um, 
is 2%, it's, uh, the values are 8 and 212, so this means that there are only 2% of the pixels in the image have a value lower than 8, only 2% of the pixels in the image have a value higher than 212, and so this is my new uh, automatically found um, auto-level uh, function, and I can uh, display the result uh, here. Um, so this is relatively similar to the one that we found with the manually um, with the manual uh, thresholds, and we can still see this uh, slightly improved contrast, uh, mostly in the in the gray uh, level area. So this is the uh, auto level, and that's it for this video. And I will see you in the next one.